Hello everybody, as we're getting ready to go into game number four between London and Eminem. Eminem once again have elected to play on the blue side of the rift. Okay. And like you said, Jamada, maybe, just maybe, we might see a bit of an interesting ban phase here from Eminem as an answer to what London have been playing around. But for now, it is just that Gwen again. Understandable, Akers hard carried the first game on that. And to me, this kind of signals that again, they want to try and first pick the Zinzel for Gedanuka. Yeah, uh, potentially. We'll have to see whether or not London actually decide to remove it away. Uh, this time, whether they're happy to deal with it. Renekton off the table, though, for Aragorn Seraphine. I mean, one of the probable champions for me. Uh, and of course, highlight the LeBlanc, highlight the Karma. Uh, it seems like, at least to Eminem, Seraphine is the higher priority, at least going by the ban order. And as far as London are concerned, will we just see the Ziggs ban? Will we just see things like the Viego on the red side? Looks like Ziggs will be one of them. And now, let's see whether or not Eminem are going to adapt a little bit here, or if they want to keep things the same. Because I think oh, there it is. A, lot, a lot of the problem champions come from, you know, Mankey playing on these support champions. And if he's off them, Eminem, uh, London rather, they play a slightly different kind of style. Maybe they don't necessarily practice so frequently with Mankey off of these utility champions. Uh, Xin Zhao will be banned away. Uh, so things that are up, of course, the Viego will just be snapped up immediately by Eminem. Uh, Lee Sin is now actually up and available if London yeah. do want to go down that route to match some of the, what I'm expecting will be early aggression of Gadanica on the Viego pick. Uh, and of course, the LeBlanc also there. Uh, but if you do go for that early rotation, you would expect Eminem to probably go down something like Lissandra, like we did see in game one. So still plenty of options for London. That looks like it will probably be snapped up and locked in and it will. And will London just go to the LeBlanc route? I suppose it's definitely an option, but Thresh actually made it through this time around. So they are going to snap that up and now i start to think do you want to pick up your mid laner do you want to deny away the leblanc do you want to potentially deny away the aphelios do you want to pick up the nautilus so many options now that we've seen a couple of games under the belts here for both of these teams and it will just be the leblanc that they're going to pick up here Ooh, hello. And, oh hello oh wow the old okay. school counters to the fresh that one yeah so uh obviously the way this matchup works thresh pretty stationary when he uses a lot of his abilities sets up really nicely for blitzcrank uh to just or a really easy rocket grab. Uh, and now I want to see what Mankey's going to pick. Because you've got the Thresh. That, to me, signals probably a hyper carry, right? Traditionally, but this is Mankey. So if there are other utility champions you can field with the Thresh, it wouldn't be surprising to see it. But for now, it will just be the Lucian lock-in. Uh, and now we're going to see the reverse matchup. Van Gogh on the LeBlanc, Billy on the Lucian this time around. And as for London, they don't really want to ban out AD carries. I'm expecting probably tops focusing more on Aragorn's champion pool. Uh, so maybe something like set plus X would probably be what I would expect to see out of London. Uh, unless they want to really try and tunnel down on things that they're afraid of Jopper picking, or they could just ban out uh, picks that they don't feel like will be comfortable for Akita to play in, again, on things like that NAR. So if you see a Wukong ban followed up, expect the NAR to be locked in. Uh, but for Eminem, they've got the option to ban away the NAR if they want to do that, or the Wukong yeah. additionally as well. So uh, a lot of things going on here as far as the bans are concerned. If you are picking up a NAR, not that you can because now it's banned, the one concern I have for the side of London is they're going to be very AD heavy, unless they do again find something like a Soraka to put in the bot lane or something. But that oh doesn't really. God. Oh, no, like, no, no, no. They your... can do that. They can do that. I, I, they can was do it, that. Don't was it London that did it? Yes. We I don't think have, it was like, London. Soraka Karma in, I don't in think one it, of our I don't think it was games. London, but don't, don't joke because they can actually feel Soraka. In, in. I've seen it happen. It can work, but into a Blitzcrank is risky. Yeah, uh, the two v two will not be in their favor, and I'm expecting Joppa, honestly, to pick something really, really aggressive. I think in this game, I, I feel I like throughout this series, again. yeah, you could go the Kaiser out, but I'm, I'm wondering maybe we see something even like the Samira come out. Uh, oh yeah, so I'm gonna just go full kill lane, doubly so if we see uh, a super passive laner come out from Mankey like the Ezreal. Uh, we actually got the Diana ban, so maybe not so sold that uh, this Leeson is gonna be in No Name's hands. Offering the Callisto would be a it would be a really different look for Monkey, to me, uh, but it would set up for a very strong two v two. See, last second swap over, yeah. So, not too surprised from Monkey's front, and honestly, Jopper also plays the Callista. Uh and right now this wouldn't be a horrible Callista game, at least to me. Now I'm no Callista expert, but leaning into Ezreal, you've got the winning support matchup, the jungle matchup is relatively skirmish heavy. I wouldn't be surprised to see drop a default to something like that. Or he could, of course, go the, the Aphelios trial as well. But I think you go the Callista, you just try and smash the lane out. Uh, you, got the as you got, you've got go the Ballista combo. You've got the Ballista combo. You have to go for it. 
Uh, you've got the skirmishing mid jungle, which should be winning out in most scenarios. And now for Aragon, I'm probably looking at something like Set. In case London do go something, you know, sort of aggressive, you just chuck them back out. And then they re-engage potential off of that from Heartbreaker, from the Blanc diving in, from the Callista ultimate chucking in the Blitzcrank is absolutely massive. That's what they're going to go for. And I say, Akers, what do you have left into it, right? Uh, tank options kind of out the window uh, when you're dealing with Set because then you're just giving him the freest sort of ultimates in the world. Range champion potentially, Gregus to disrupt. I don't mind that, actually. Uh, and that will be what we see from London. So generally speaking, not so engage heavy from the London side of things. A lot of self-peel, a lot of peeling options. However, on the M&M side, it's all about the aggression in every single position that they've drafted here for themselves. Whether it's the top side, bot side, mid jungle, they can just yeah. look to scrap. So I think it's going to be on London to react quite heavily to whatever play Eminem want to put on the table. It's it's uh, the ball is very in Eminem's hands. They draft themselves a comfort will allow them to play fast and loose. And so far, bar our first game, our game's been very quick. We had I think yes. it was a 22 minute win for Eminem, and I think that last one was 23, 24 minutes. No, so I London. think I think game three was 22, game four was 25, and game yeah. one was, was 33, approximately 32. Yeah, 33. It's 33, I think. Uh, but yeah, either way, the games other than that first one, even that first one was kind of quick, realistically. Uh, we had some very fast games, so these teams, you know. If the team that seems to play fast in the early game seems to pull themselves ahead. Game two was Gadanika getting that very cheesy gank off straight up to the top side of one camp and then turning that into, into, a, into a greater victory for the team. Again, it's been the same for London. In their wins, it's been because they have been playing very, very aggressive. And this time, this mid lane matchup, it's been that LeBlanc and that Lucian, which we talked about at the beginning of the day. And so we've already seen a lot of LeBlanc and obviously a game from Van Gogh on the Lucian. We're now seeing it the other way around. Beely this time is on the Lucian. Van Gogh is on the LeBlanc. And this is Van Gogh's first LeBlanc game of this series. Billy not going for the airy, has gone for the uh, press of the I'm going to go for the, right? what I so imagine will be the traditional build. build. Yeah, I yeah. think standard build. Bad of pause, and by that, the way. <laughs> we're, we're following uh, what seems to be <sighs> tradition of this final specifically, we've got another brief pause. Um, so, I, I, you know, last time, you know, third time's charm, spoke about Grizzly Bear versus Gorilla. Grizzly Bear stomps no diff, by the way. Uh, I think this time around, We'll talk about the seriousness of this scenario. Yeah. Because London, they are now one game away from securing UK, uh, UKLC final uh, title. Thank you, pardon. Uh, and since they've come into the league, the expectations for this organization have been very, very high. I think from yeah. the get go, they came in in summer. They had, you know, the dubbed super roster. Didn't quite so turn, it didn't turn out that way. But since the start of this year, finals in spring pushed the undefeated team to game five this time here, you know, sort of expected underdogs but can certainly upset what we're expecting to be an m, &M victory uh regardless of what the scoreline was going to be in the lead right now one game away from taking their first title as an organization as for m, &M like you said not been in uh not Four been in the final since yeah i think not been in a final since 2017 or 2018 2017 awesome was yeah. the last time they were in a final the last time they won was uh, 2017, and that was actually a different tournament because for those of you who weren't around back in the day, we used to have the ESL Premiership, which yep. is basically what NLC is now, uh, slash UKLC. And then we had the UK Masters, which was run by a separate company and was just another tournament. Uh, it, it Ultimately, at the time, neither tournament led to anything because we didn't have the ERL system like we have it today. Um, but ultimately, the Premiership eventually became became the, the the feeder into the European Masters. And unfortunately, we did see the end of the uh, UK Masters. Yeah, a little sad. Fun little I tournament. did have a couple of friends back then who played uh, UK Masters. Oh, my, UK Masters? Oh. Just So UK Masters was the easiest show in the world for me because <laughs> I, I the studio was a 20 minute drive from my house. Oh, wow. It was so close. It was at the old game head office. It was All amazing. Right. All right. Not so bad. And back at the time, I worked for game. That's not yep. how I got on the show, by the way. I tried a lot when I worked for game to try and get on that show, and they didn't let me in. And then when I finally quit, I got let in. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I mean, the UKLC and the NLC was like my first casting stuff. Uh, I guess like full-time, obviously, UKL for a majority of 2019 uh, and 2020. I remember dropping a, a DM to Orcs because I remember seeing a whole bunch of like new casters, I think, during the LVP era, like come in. And I was like, hey, 
I wouldn't mind doing this with their space. Uh, but I didn't have the uh, the CV to back out. So, could have got him back then, but I'm here now. <laughs> Can't get rid of me. Who do we have back then? We had a uh, Saga. Had a whole bunch of people. He showed up yeah. for a bit. I like Saga, actually. He's doing... um. Oh, he's doing PUBG, I think, now. That's where he's oh, off to. Cool. I, I, I saw a spot in my heart for Saga. He's a nice guy. We had Ollie Shouts, who... I've honestly... I'm, I, can't, I don't know what he's doing. Is he doing UK AL at all? Uh, to my knowledge, no. But I, the, my knowledge of the UK AL cast roster is not so great. So It's the same. I'm sorry, UK AL casters, if you're watching. I'm so <laughs> no, sorry. I mean, in terms of... I don't know the full roster now. Eminem, they're looking for the same setup that they found. Uh, or Vango found himself onto. Exact same path. Sambili being a little more respectful. It's like they've gone in by, I think, yeah, flash blown from Beely in the mid lane and also from Vango. Oh, hook good connect. hook. He's dead. Joppa maybe. instantly exhausted. The knight's being thrown down. Still got that flash. They find the hook. Joppa's trying to get their additional damage, but the speed <gasps> are not going to be Oh, enough. no. Blood picked up for Mankey. It's a horror story as no name comes in. They got the teleport to try and back him up, but I think Aragon may have just doomed himself. Now being chased down. What's Akis going has on? Made his way in. Vango's teleported <laughs> in. And London, it is just a catastrophe for Eminem. Akers secures the next kill. That is four in the bot lane for London. London. What have I just seen? Callista Blitzcrank effectively losing the 2v2 to an Ezreal Thresh. And not only that, the teleport comes down so late from Aragon. If you're ever going to make that teleport happen, it has to be effectively during the 2v2. There is no right time for that teleport to occur. And then Vango teleports chunked out because apparently he teleported in front of Beely. I Absolutely lost words. So it starts with the, the hook itself, which is great. But then I think right here, this is where they overstep. They take too much damage. They really want the first blood here. They really want to commit. But despite all of the spears inside of Pepe, it's just not enough rend damage. And Clocks also doesn't overcommit. Oh, double exhaust. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if they messed up the timing. Uh, but yeah, uh, it, absolutely insane to me. And then the teleports are just so late. You can see Vango comes in effective 150 HP. Aragon, I don't know. I don't know. This just seemed like a very, very botched reaction to the play from Eminem. And London just kind of sit there laughing, rubbing their hands together. What are they doing? Funneling kills into us. Mankey returns to lane with a Sheen plus a tier. I don't even know necessarily if this bottom side is something that you can wholeheartedly play towards anymore. Outside of clocks just finding hooks because that is a pretty big item differential. You've got to make tower dives happen on a frequent basis. And here we go. Speaking of... Dunica in the area. Mankey, no summoner spells. Oh, the nice first little hook there from Clocks, but the double flay comes down and Clocks is already chunked out. Gadonica coming in. Hook goes wide and the special more could be big. They lock down Jeppe, but Gad is taking Gad tower shot after tower shot. Mankey now looking for Jopper as Vango's also made his way in. London's bot lane right. has been collapsed on, but they ooh answer out with a cheeky kill. But shut down nonetheless, gifted over to Vango. <sighs> And Eminem could have deny a big wave from London. They could be happy with that one, but no, oh, no. London are coming in. And No Name looking for some revenge as Vango getting double tapped. He pings back to safety, lands the chains onto Beely. Beely able to break them. Sonic All wave. he takes is a kick from No Name. Can't quite connect it. Ward hops forward, has himself Another 10 pips to slow Vango down. Can't wow. find him. And Vango able to survive the onslaught in the bot lane. Eminem have just about pulled this back just about made a recovery from that absolute i'm just gonna say what you said catastrophe play in the bottom side eminem stabilize don't a bit do it, clocks don't <laughs> he's gonna do it no, he's no he, not. he doesn't he's not got vision so you, don't, you can't yeah might know that it's going on but no vision so uh cs definitely uh you know kind of even that one there's even a big wave stacking in to Joppa, but now no name's actually here. So they might just look to try and deny away this way from Joppa. That's it just looks like they want to safely deliver it instead. Don't think they're going to be able to successfully hold a freeze. And actually, if we could get a check on the gold, because Mankey did lose a whole bunch of CS. So still 400 gold down because of the kills and the assists. It's not exactly the place you want to be. And it could certainly be worse uh, between the AD carries. And now it's all on, to me, it's all on Eminem. You've got effectively three lanes of just like straight up fisticuffs, right? You just want to fight everywhere. Yeah. For London, but there is like 
you know, a lot of disengage on these lanes. I'm not necessarily going to say like straight up outscaling. Because uh, I think there is, you know, definitely some arguments to be had, you know, one to one, how these teams will sort of dynamically interact with one another in the team fights. But the more time you give London, the less agency that you're going to have in the game. My, my question is, is do you have that fisty cups anymore, though? At least in the bot lane with the fact that you now got the free I mean, one I, as real. He's closing I think you've in just... on that Divine Sunder at a breakneck pace. Yeah, I mean, I think you've just done it once. I think if you can stack on the waves and then just continually dive like that, it's good. But how many times are you going to be able to get that opportunity now that, you know, Mankey got that very accelerated early game? Yes. Uh, because realistically, they made it happen because London shoved in the wave after the play and then restack the wave back on the bounce to then make that dive happen for Gnanaka and the rest of the team. But how many times are they going to have the opportunity to actually slow stack a wave into an Ezreal that can really heavily fin it out quickly yeah. and then make that occur? So I think for Eminem, it's going to be about, okay, thank you, moving the Callista around the map and playing around the objective that you want to play around and then skirmishing around her and doing your best to make the, to facilitate her with some of these early game champions that you have. Does give uh, Mankey a bit of free time in the bot lane. He's able to shove it in as Aragorn moves over to catch it. Mankey will not be here for this Rift Herald, though. That could be the difference maker is Beely going for a trade versus Van Gogh. Van Gogh going to come out on the worst end of that trade as they find themselves a hook. The culling goes down. Clocks is heavily chunked out already as he may look for a quick turnaround, but the Heartbreaker by Gad over the wall means he's going to be able to get away with his life. No mana on Beely. That's a crack a biscuit just to try and keep himself topped up but Joppa is now here as got the, the Rift Herald gets started got the health bar though that's the crucial thing so he's going to be able to shove in the wave mana or not Eminem they don't want to give this one up though CC yeah Cox is going to get pulled in no name gets thrown out as that's going to be the kill the cask was beautiful the flashes are used and Gad slowed down the tower will fall as Van Gogh's been caught out by Jeppe Jeppe not able to hit the hook and he's going to be able to get away from this oh. one. Now, Mankey oh, is going to get suplex underneath the tower. He flashes, but the tower shot is there. Mankey playing with fire. And gets burned for it. London, they do pick up the Herald on the top side. And I actually think during that combination, unfortunately for Clots, I want to say the hook hit the Herald and not No Name. And that could have been the difference maker between taking him down and not being able to find the execute. I'd love to maybe get a replay of that Herald play. Uh, just briefly to get a double check on that. But... Eminem, or more specifically, Aragorn does find the punish onto Mankey. So we'll trade back some gold. Uh, let me get a double check because CC comes in the knock up, knock up. He does get hooked. Okay, it just looked like the damage didn't really come in. Uh, but it's just a great cask to disengage uh, the potential collapse on top of it. And I also think because of the previous engagement around the mid lane, because Godonica had to blow the Heartbreaker defensively, if he had it, he could have just probably dodged out on the cask and then finished up No Name and then got the resets going. But unfortunately for him, didn't quite have that available. So London, they walk away of the play. Nobody dies on the top side and they get the Herald. Where are they going to use it? Because Nune himself, very, very fed. Mankey, of course, you know, one of the scaling aspects of this composition and Beely, another very vocal part of it when you're talking about Lucian being in the game, he usually has to be. Where will we see this Herald put down? And where will Eminem actually decide to strike or potentially react to this Herald? Uh, for the moment, looks like Eminem looking to bring people in into the mid lane. Jeffe flashes away from the hook, goes for his own hook himself, but Gad not in the right place to be getting caught there. It's a true shot for us. Chunks out clocks pretty heavily there. Mankey got all of those components of that Divine Thunder, but hasn't actually finished it up yet. The Dragon's spawning up in 18 seconds. It looks like No Name's going to show his face in the mid lane because it's going to be hard for Van Gogh to be able to hold the wave on this LeBlanc without burning the ultimate. Wait a second. I mean, I'll, I'll talk about it after this play because it looks like they want to get aggressive on Tepe. No flash. Yeah, no jungle in the area. For a whole world of hurt. Mankey's actually jumped Ooh, in forward. Um, They're bringing in the teleport. They're bringing in the backup. And that's going to be a kill onto Jeppe already. Aragorn's made his way through. Beely teleports and gets caught by Gad with a hook. The slam from the Supex. The flash comes in as Akers is now in trouble. What a face breaker. What a haymaker. Coming in. Double kill. Picked up Aragorn. No name. He's too late to the party. As the belly bot's been used. Donica and reset. has been caught out. The reset city is here. And Gad can just shift over the wall as no name is taken out. And with a snap of their fingers, Eminem. Wipe London from the rift. Yeah, clean ace. I don't think anybody died from Eminem. The fight was so long that potentially somebody could have and come back out onto the map. Yeah, straight zero for five.
absolutely beautiful team fight. They called the teleport down, and honestly, I was kind of questioning why. I didn't understand why Aragon teleported down to the play, but for some reason, London also committed a teleport. It's like you see one teleport, you say, okay, we've got to commit. And then all of a sudden, it's kind of just this one after another member after member from London kind of walk in. They hand the kills over to Eminem. And I think on top of that, they drop the Herald in the mid lane. Uh, London. So they were focusing on the mid lane, but they decide to try and commit, save their bottom lane here. I feel like Hepe maybe wouldn't die so quickly. Teleport from Billy a little bit too deep, a little bit too close. Death Senders connects from Gadonica of all people. Stealing away that form. The Haymaker comes in, but it's the face breaker that seals the deal on this fight. Locks down Akers and of course locks down Billy for that double uh, kill. No name, nowhere to be seen. Yeah, picture in picture. No name. Hmm. Almost dies, but yeah, you can see Gadonica. Just reset after reset, and then eventually uh, Vango even makes it down here to seal the deal for No Name. That Five for a eight. Close for No Name during the replay. Yes. Uh, didn't look like he blew a summoner, and I think only Clocks blew the Ignite. So uh, that was the only thing kind of thrown out on either side. One thing we've not really spoken about the dragons, it is going to be a Mountain Soul. Definitely something that could be heavily impactful in a game where champions don't necessarily want to deal with a whole bunch of, uh, of course, base resist, right? Callista, LeBlanc, who definitely don't want to. As Eminem, face checking Kiki a bit here. From Jeff a. They look to catch on to Gad, but the hook comes down. The culling is there. The silence from Clark. Oh, the a kick. Big heel lands onto No Name, thanks to that Gore Drinker. Yeah. And what a kick. Kill secure for the side of London, but they're bringing in the Blitzcrank. They're bringing in the Callista baby chains. Go a little bit wide and no name. Flukes a follow up oh. as he jumps in. Vango pings back, so everything goes a little bit weird for the moment. But the shutdown's picked up by Billy at the end of the day. And I don't think Vango's going to be able to find himself any more kills here as no name slides in. If they can oh, find the kick, he might be in trouble, actually. Yeah. One Wait. good solid <gasps> strike is going to hit and he's wow. going to happen. No name finally okay. gets his hand on the lease in and shows us exactly why it's been permaban this series. That was sick from No Name. He auto attacked the ward to get the energy regen to cast Sonic Wave to land onto Van Gogh. That is intricate knowledge of the champion at its finest from No Name. That was insane, but yeah. Beautiful. Eminem overcommitting the jungle and they're punished for it. They're punished for it. Gadonica gets hooked up and also it's No Name with the Godrinka like you rightfully point out gives him the heal to just give him enough time to cast the kick in to Godonica. And the fact that he gets DC'd means that No Name doesn't die because of the heal. And on top of that, he doesn't get the reset, the Vorms. And then Eminem, they find the pick again onto Hepe. The cast goes wide, but No Name goes all the way back onto Vango. Jumper gets slowed up. He can't all attack. He can't hop anywhere. Beely finds that kill. And then all the way, they chase up to the top side. Please get a slowdown on this, just so we can kind of understand once we see No Name walk into the tribush. He all attacks the ward and gets the energy regen. You can see, he casts Iron Will, but the fact that there's a ward in this bush, he all attacks it, gets the energy regen, and that's what allows him to cast Sonic Wave. Oh, Boom, energy, beautiful. Sonic Wave. Auto attacks again so he can recast it. Oh, that was beautiful. Absolutely actually. wonderful from No Name. Flawless stuff as uh, Clox is maybe looking for it. We're still yet to see the actual Ballista combo for the Blitzcrank hooks and then Jopper ults. Yeah, we'll hopefully get to see it. Oh, it'd be nice. It's a it very, very nice. fun combination. But again, that was still another, you know, characteristic of Eminem, right? They get a lead, they try to establish vision, but sometimes they just do it in the wrong pocket or they just, you know, skip steps a little bit too quickly. They don't see yeah. every member of London on the map and they lose out on the play for it. Herald dropped on the top side. So this looks like this will just be two towers. Uh, London technically here to respond, but Jopper's also going to clear out uh, the mid wave and probably rotate over and also Aragon here for this place. So if London respond with any kind of numbers and Eminem feel like diving this tower, they're certainly going to make it happen. They see Beely. They're also going to swell out the rest of London. See if they can get this tower. It's not quite going to go down. But most of it already gone. They do lose the trade on the bottom side though. In terms of Akka's getting that tower. Not being able to pick up that in the tier 2 effectively makes it an equal trade with a Herald invested on Eminem's side. And because of the reset timers, could potentially see London sliver into the river, but it looks like with that teleport, that should secure the river priority. Uh, okay. For, <laughs> for Eminem. Trying to chunk him out with a double to store. Uh, yeah. Got flayed. Yeah. Pretty risky, though. Very risky. I mean, that is dragon losing.
and potentially mid lane tower losing if, he, if that play goes bad. At the end of the day, all he took was a tower shot, so I think he's going to be A-OK -okay okay. on that front. But Cox is yeah. looking for the hook. He's going to get hooked himself. As Jeffe comes in, the double play goes down. They got the Callista, though, and that's the first kill Reset. already picked up. The cask is going to send everybody packing. Crucial thing two there. Two hooks available to Eminem. <laughs> two hooks available. Crucial thing, because Anuka actually blew the regular Heartbreaker to get into range uh, to try and take down a Hepe. So we won't have yeah. that available if London did decide to come and contest this fight. It looks like they're just going to cut their losses here, move up to the top side, see if they can pick up the tower for this dragon. But Eminem, do you find themselves a pick into the second dragon uh, of the game for themselves? Of course, London did pick up the Ocean one earlier on. So two dragons away from Seoul, three for London. Seoul condition a little while away for both of these teams here. Yeah. I uh, I didn't want to say Knight, but I was saying Divine Thunder for Manky, and he went Triforce. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I got, so I, I actually got, I got I, Fage I and pick... half man Axe muddled up on the build. Yeah, part. yeah, no, 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 no. So he, I think he actually had the incorrect components because I, if I recall correctly, Triforce does not build out of a Kindle gem. Fango hunting, and Bailey stops his recall, so he's gonna walk straight Ooh. past him. Uh, I mean, it could flash, just be double but... sigil. No, it's double chains. Bailey is so dead. Okay. Vango finally gives him some taste of his own medicine after that game three. Yeah. Gets the Straight kill. solo kill. Yeah, real nice. Uh, I wanted to pick it up, but I think Eminem made the play on the bottom side and it kind of just skipped my mind. Manky had uh, the Half-Bound Axe, the Sheen, and the uh, Kindle Gem. So, yes. I don't think Kindle Gem builds into Triforce. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. I can't, it's, it's Sheen. It's Half-Bound Axe, half Sheen, axe. and it does? I think it is, yeah. I guess it does. I, right. it was, I got I got modeled up because it's Fade yeah, it's and got, half an axe, which is what's to, the different Yeah, item. yeah. Huh. You don't get AP on Triforce anymore, mate. <laughs> I miss the days while. Triforce used to give AP. You know, these are things as a caster that I should just really know. Especially as a color caster. <laughs> but to be fair, I've still not sat down and played loads of League of Legends in the last like uh, okay. two months. Like my internet was really sucky. <laughs> so it really put me off. So I still need to... I just, I, I effectively, I still just get used to the season. I only really logged like 50 games in season 11 before my internet was bad. Sounds like uh, we need a new color caster. Yeah, yeah. That's what they're talking about. Is Eminem looking like to go in? Billy <laughs> felt that Blitzcrank hook on his bum. That was so close. Yes, it was. And Van Gogh should be able to pick up the top tier two, uh, given where he is. Though if he wants to rotate down to this play, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame him. But that's 600 gold waiting to be collected in London. No way are they in a position to respond to it. It's a free tower pickup. Very happy about that one. Now Eminem trying to gain a little bit of control in the top side. Now between Godonica and Clocks. If BD walks, let's cue their way. Could find a hook for themselves. If London overcommit for this tower as well, expect Eminem to collapse and collapse very heavily. So they're not going to do that, though, as the uh, wave will get cleared out as the tower is taken down. 20 minutes on the clock. It's a much slower pace than the other games in this series so far. And kind of understandably, really. Eminem, their really? backs are well and truly against the Wolf. They lose this. That's it. That yeah. is their finals done. They take second place and, again, aren't able to keep them keep that title. Something they haven't picked up since 2017 oh. is the hook lands onto No Name. He does have the Gordrick, but he can't pop it in time. The silence is huge. Aragon's low, but the Face Breaker shield keeps him alive for now. Jeppe jumps out to safety as the Cullen goes down as well. Wave's going to get trimmed as well as the health bars is only losing their jungler. No Ooh, Name. Oh, this is risky. Eminem's health bars are so low. It is very I don't risky. Know about it's Vango this. looking for Mankey. Mankey able to dodge away on the chains. Okay. He's going to get started up. Yeah, I, I think if Vango plays bodyguard here, it's not terrible, but. Teleport coming in from Beely. Oh no, rather Akers doesn't oh, have to pass. It's going to be see. absolutely time yeah. Okay. Yeah, too much damage was returned on the back end of that sort of what ended up almost being a tower dive. Beely and Mankey threw out a lot there. So credit to them. Effectively stopping the Baron and the delayed uh, play. Now they will themselves take a reset. So Eminem, considering they were the first ones to reset, should in the next 20 to 30 seconds or so after they clear out a wave, be able to secure some priority around this river. And that'll be very difficult. Again, full on face check into. Face checking into Blitzcrank. Face checking into the Blanc. Even the set. 
We've seen many, many hooks land by clocks now. Seems very, very confident to connect those. And crucially, to briefly touch on the item spikes, Mankey is actually at that two item spike now. No Name has the two items as well. Beely still a little while away from being, you know, kind of relevant. On the opposite side, Gore Drinker, Divine Sunderer, Ludens plus the Magi's. And even more importantly, Callista has her Runan. So she is very, very strong right now. London has to try and find an angle onto her, but Luca Vango is in the flank. He's looking for it. Mankey has to shift away already. So that is now down. Vanga comes in. He's found the carries alone and chunked the pair of them out. They're not dead, but they're chunked out. And I don't think London can fight this dragon anymore. No. This will be dragon number three over to Eminem, although no name, not willing to give it up. The true shot barrage chunks out Joffre and Aragon a little bit. The window. And the hook by Clox is on cooldown for the moment. This could be that opportunity. They can continue the poke. Hook clans. Clox is caught out. Box is used, but they're pulling back instantly. The slam goes down. Aragon That's picked bad. up. Shutdown's there. Jeffe now caught out by Gadonica. He's going to jump in. He's got that heartbreak. He's looking for the recess, but no name finds the kick Ooh. out of there. That's no name, no name. For Hick, but they've got everything. They've got the CC. No name can't jump to safety. But the damage of the carries is just starting to stack up. Oh, so big. Akers can barely bop over the wall to a bit of safety. It's a free versus free so far. But Beely's health bar is just way, way too low. Mankey's trying to heal up and uh. finds the assassination. He has been caught by Akers. Uh. But Fox catches him back. Double kill. Picked up for Vango. Continuing Mankey. to get poked out by Mankey. Mankey is trying to make the hero play happen. But I just don't think he has enough fuel in the tank. London will lose the team fight and Dragon number three will go over to Eminem. Honestly, credit to London for even making that a contest because at least to me, Eminem had such good setup clocks. Okay. Deep breath, everybody. Not gonna die. No. Come on, not like this. Oh, oh, not like this. <laughs> Thank you with the snipe. I mean, Clocks, he was playing with fire. He knew what he was doing. Get the replay of this fight here. I think, crucially, take a look at Aragorn. He goes in, but he doesn't manage to get the Haymaker shield off. So he just ults, dies. The fight a little bit split on two fronts. And as well, the flay from Godonica isn't backwards, it's forwards. I think because he's playing with uh, the auto set abilities, we've got to come out of the replay. Aragorn jumped onto. Doesn't have teleport. Teleported here to this play, actually, it looks like. Oh, and this is the win. Yeah, started. Baron. Yeah. It's a double AD carry. It will melt to them. They've got no name and Akers to tank it as well. So it's relatively tanky, bait. relatively healthy. Hard to on it for the moment as Jeffe looks I for think the this hook. Is London. Spotted out for the moment. I and think they this now is London. will see him. Jeffe's just trying to hold it. Here they come. Flay goes down onto Gidanaka. The box is used. The Cullen goes to Aragon. He's very, very low. Vanga jumps in. Baron has been secured. And now Eminem needs to try and find the chase. But London will be able to find a killing spree onto Mankey. They are going to reset. They are going to get out of there. And Eminem, the opportunity to make it to game five is slowly but surely evaporating. And it's off the back of Mankey on this Ezreal. We said we thought he was better on these car on these supportive champions, the enabling champions. But he is putting the game of his mind right now on this Let's Ezreal. Not forget Eminem forced him off of these utility mages. The Seraphine and the Karma, they banned them both. They wanted to see him on Lady Carry. And right now, despite being several thousand or only really a thousand and a half now gold down uh, in comparison to Joppa, he's been having such great impact. Now, Joppa yeah. has just finished off his third item and Mankey, still a little whiles away from that, is going down uh, the more of Mount Morpheus uh, to try and survive some of the burst from Vango, who has been honestly an absolute nuisance in the back line. He is still dishing out the damage. I think crucially, Vango might not be able to always find his way onto him, especially, you know, it's exhaust on Mankey, exhaust on Hepe. Things will continue to get a little difficult here. The Baron going to be a nice tool to kind of delay this game out a little bit. Clock spotted out. Has been, he's, he's just going to speed himself up and bolt to safety. It's Billy looking to shove in this bot wave. He's got the wave to work with here. This will be tower number two. Yeah in the middle lane and the third tower for the side of London. They're still not taking a tier one tower top side. Two shot Bryce will trim through the wave and uh, Jeff will hook yeah. a minion as Gad. Having a little bit good. of a uh, bit of a scout through his invisibility area. Yeah, good respect though from London because they understood that was the brief window where maybe Eminem could find a real quick snapping age. As soon as they saw the mist of the Viego, they just back off. They say, we're not even going to give you the chance to find that pick. Akka's on the top side, but with teleport, four seconds worth 
uh, of waiting time. That's a lot of time in the game where these team fights have been so snappy, carries dying at the snap of a finger. Yeah. So good respect, and the Baron gets them a couple of towers here and there. Well, it looks like that's all it's going to get. Generally speaking, I don't think the gold difference itself actually moved too heavily from the start to the back end of the Baron. But still, a stabilizing tool for London. Definitely much needed some of the skirmishes. Looking, you know, M&M favored with Mankey definitely putting out so much work that it's starting to tilt in London's direction. As you see, the gold graph kind of reflects that. I'm not sure exactly Ooh. what time that gold graph will indeed. Both hooks went through the gold post there. Dragon number four. The yes, M&M spawning up second oh, one for London. Vanguard oh, just stop watch. Godonica just stop watch, by the way. So he doesn't oh, have that God. tool. But Beely and Akers potentially about to be pinned, so they don't know Vango's here. They don't indeed, but actually look to catch him out instantly. Goes for the chase oh. of the Akers. Akers survives. Okay. They, they knew something was off there. Yes. Well, that's big because Akers is the one who still has teleport and can make it back into this. But... BD blew his flash and so did Akers. So Akers is engaged potency, not as high. Looks like Eminem, they want to go on this window potentially. They know Akers has to go back, but the teleport will come down very shortly. And it's going to be in a flank position, actually. So if they don't know that Akers is here, this could be honestly devastation for Eminem. A little bit split, but it's how they've been playing the fight. Dragon spawn up though, looking for the hook onto Vango. Here they come. Hook goes wide from both of these champions. Jeff A chunked out heavy. Vango might just look for the assassination. The play's a little bit too late. The box has been thrown down. Beely putting the culling down for the moment. No name jumps out to safety. And there's the kick from No Name. Aragon instantly picked up, but Vango continuing to harass from uh -huh. the fog of war. And Cox lands the hook he needs. Vango's been caught out by the play. He's been exhausted. He's been shut down. As Akers goes golden for the moment. Can he survive? Oh. The friend won't finish him up. He's able to belly bop the safety the shielding is just way too much. London's health bars are blinking right now, but they have the man advantage. And Joppa looks to start this one up. Ren plus Smite, very hard to work uh, against. That's a reset. The There's the play. There's the Wait. reset you were talking about. No, it wasn't. Not. In he goes. Got <gasps> the ball. No name low. Can they find that Ren? No, they cannot. As Joppa is shut down a grind into Akira's pocket. And London will secure the team fight and the dragon. Godonica didn't get to touch Hepe when he got hooked in, so he didn't get the form. If Godonica gets access to another Heartbreaker, he can honestly threaten London so much. But London, they play out that fight so well. And I also think, honestly, Aragon, he blows the Haymaker a little bit too early here. He does have the stopwatch as well, but you can see some of the return damage is great. And it's actually the cask, not the kick, that sends Aragon back into the team. And without that frontliner there, Eminem have to play this team fight out meticulously. And they almost do. You can see on the back line, Vango tries to dive into both of the carries, but the exhaust and no stopwatch available for Vango means he can't stay alive. And by the time Blade of the Ring King goes wide for Godanka so he doesn't get the resale to Akers, that's not form stolen. And then here, look, burst damage is too quick. I think CC'd out, played out of being able to actually touch Hepe means that Godanka doesn't get to steal away the form. And the kick is beautiful from the moment. It finally comes out. That's a 1,000 gold shutdown. London, by the skin of their teeth, in some ways come out ahead of that and they deny the soul away from Eminem. No, it looks like Gad's on that flank. He might find out a couple of people or might be found himself. Clocks misses the hook again. Akers able to jump away from the chains there from Van Gogh. Is they're looking just to hunt Van Gogh down. Oh no. And there's a good hook onto Gad. Caught out instantly. They're going for the slam. They're going for the slew pet. The Tarks goes down and nobody has died yet somehow. Oh, actually, Gad did die. Sorry, my bad. But no name follows the hook. Got he's GA. got the GA. He's got the res. He's A okay. The Joppa will recall his Pokemon and pull clocks back to safety. Well, that's the jungle of dead. So London can just do this Baron pretty much for free. Eminem. Back to back. Slowly but surely. Kind of falling apart. The teams here in London have been playing out this team fight so well. Teleport coming in from Aragon. Doesn't have the ultimate, doesn't have flash. But Eminem, they know they can't give over this Baron. It'll be too much pressure to give up. They're going to try and look for a fight potentially on the back end, but they are so low and they're running away from Vango oh! as well. Clocks! 
Mankey almost found the kill on the clocks as he's looking to chase him down. The slowdown's coming it. in. He's gonna die. They just continue. That's the end of the days for the robot. Resets and barons. They're gonna spend their cash and look to siege the base even further. Oh my goodness me. London on the cusp of finding their first UK LC title. Right here with this Baron, it feels like there are still quite a few towers to go through the inners and of course the inhibitors, but these skirmishes back to back right now. The feeling in the game. Starting to definitely feel as if London can pull this one home despite what felt like very dominating team fights from Eminem in the, uh, in the early to mid game. Even with this game, this is the same game that had that really crazy fumble from Eminem. Giving over two early kills to Mankey. We've got the replay of the back end of this. I think we yeah, pulled that off the screen. I'm not sure. As London, they're going to shove through the bottom side for now. Akka's in the mid lane. And BD's going to teleport. So looking to siege on the bottom side. Eminem, they have to find the pick. That's how they have to get these fights started. And crucially, Gudanaka needs to get resets. Joppa needs to be untouched and peeled for. They can't find those conditions. Eminem are going to struggle to find team fights. And as for London, honestly, play these team fights out the same way you have been. Peel back, keep your eyes on Bango, make sure he's not finding access to the back line and dodge out on the rocket grabs. And honestly, you're golden. You can take this one home. London, they can taste victory. They can taste their first title. They are oh so close. And they're looking to deny Eminem for a fourth year running. The True Shot Barrage gonna pop Gedanaka Sterex and he's lost his shield. Same for Aragon as well. Bango can't really do too much, but watch as his inhibitor will crumble. London, the jaws are tightening and the end is in sight, but they need to play it slow. They can't throw now. They do not want to give Eminem the opportunity. Bango's on the flank, looking for Beely. Gets oh, the that's double big damage. Off. The, the chains hit, Beely dies, but he was able to survive. There's no Death teleport as well. Ludens. That is a terrifyingly fed LeBlanc. Jeffe oh. goes for the hook. Clocks is on the flank as well, but they have it to looks like them. London should just be able to get away from this one. They have to try and run this one down. Beely chunked out. The dragon spawning again. Soul for Eminem. But it's not the kind of soul which will immediately have immediate impact. Like that mountain would in the middle of a fight or an ocean. No name. Chunked out. Aragon on a nice angle and they found oh, hooks on each other. Hook there. They've got the true shot. They've got the shielding to keep themselves alive for the moment. Eminem though, lower health bars. Vango's yeah. going to have to make this play they happen. So he just sorts away to safety. He looks for Akers. Akers catches him out for the moment. Sort which has been used. And Vango's that there. is Mankey. Dominating now with the end of Vango. This could be the end of days for Eminem. As Aragon will go down in London. That thing in the bot lane. May not even need the dragon to close this one out. London, the team who have been permanently stuck in second place here for oh so many splits since joining the UKLC, are in prime position to take out the most dominant team this split. They are two turrets away from closing this game out. They've got the super waves. They don't have the Baron. But they are feeling it. They have the confidence. Three have versus They've got five. what it takes. The hook goes wide. The hook goes wide. The tower will crumble. And Eminem can only watch. They can try and scrap for one last time as they pull back Joppa. But Joppa's on his lonesome. Beely low HP. And here comes Vango. He's trying to save the day. But Vango already low. Gedanica's trying to find the resets as Mankey. The shielding is big. And Mankey is still alive. He found himself a double kill as it was just a fading hope. Eminem were able to hang on. No name, caught out by the chains. Vango plings back to safety and the Lantern will get no name out. Eminem have somehow held on to this game. They've held on by the skin of their teeth, a hair length. And they should be able to pick up this dragon because it looks like no name is gonna reset. Get a replay of this dive, both of the hooks missed. The first Nexus tower goes down. And from here, it's all out chaos. They try and dive onto Joppa. They remove clocks almost, but the Fates Call comes in. The knock-up and the CC. Enough to give Gadunica a reset. And Bango on the bottom side almost finds Hepe. And the Heartbreaker doesn't quite have enough damage in it. 
to kill Mankey, and because Gadonica dies, there's no additional reset, and the rest of London will get wiped. The GA also keeps no name on the rift. But these fights are just so close. So many minor differences here, which could tilt the favors in one way or another to the loser of the fight. And now Baron's warning again in 30 seconds. Inhibitors still pouring out supers in the bottom side. Eminem. This is probably last chance saloon. Given how we've seen some of these fights go in the last couple of minutes, if they lose the fight in front of Baron here in the next two minutes or so, or London sneak away the Baron, or they have to give it up, and London secure this buff, I can see London closing out with it. I've got those shields to work with, but there is a Serpent's Fang as well. So they're able to cut through that somewhat. Fango looking for a bit of poke onto Mankey. It's just been a nuisance right now. Yeah. And Mountain Soul was secure, let's not forget. So a little bit tankier, the additional shield. Definitely going to help out here. The resist as well. Let's remember, it's a three Mountain Dragon Soul, but London, they're onto it. Aragon in. He's yeah, they've got him, him. In, but it might be a little bit too slow, to be honest. They're going to force him away, and I think that's all they want. are happy with that one. Teleport that's burn, they the supers want. are going to do all the work for them on the other side of the map. Yeah, now that they know London, all they have to do is play the slow game. They've only got one Nexus Tower standing, and they've got the supers pushing in a pretty, honestly, scary position halfway up the bottom side of the map. They just have to play time right now. Two supers pushing. That is going to be enough, honestly, to maybe even take down a Nexus Tower in the delayed. With the wave, Eminem, they kind of understand they're resetting London. They're waiting to see somebody sharp in the bottom side of the map. Drop on the time. Yeah, now it's time. So they're going to go in for it now. It's going to have to be a Chad on a play. It's going to have to be, but he can't. I don't think he can get in. Vango's at best. Vango has to steal this. That's the only way that this is going to happen. But there you go. Akka's out on the side. Going to push Vango out. And that's a Baron over to London. Really well played. They play time. They understand the map pressure going on for them. That's another Baron secured. And again, it's not quite going to eclipse the Elder. But the fact that they have the Baron buff, they're going to be able to have the agency to siege now on these other two lanes. Or just walk it into the bottom side, secure that inhibitor again. The resets are coming in. They're looking to spend their gold up. Everybody is pretty much closing in on that full build, or at least Feely and Mankey are. Stopwatches in the inventory for both of those carries. There's Zonya's on Akka's. A stopwatch on Jeppe. A GA almost up with that Sterics on No Name. It is so, so hard for Eminem to find the kills. The one thing they have going for them is that Mountain Soul. They have that additional shielding, that kind of pseudo health to work with. But now you've got the full build, the GA on Mankey. GA on Dropper. Oh. Uh, yep, yeah, Dropper does have a GA as well. He's also full build. So it's Callista. You know, you're, you're at maximum strength other than that level 18 mark. Is it going to be enough from Eminem? to push this to game number five. They were They've able to hold on on the final siege last time. Can they do it again? A good hook from Clocks may be game changing for Eminem or at least time buying for Eminem. Eminem have to find Mankey, but it's so difficult for the divers to do it with double exhaust on the table. And this, this tower is probably going to die. Next wave, if it's, it's probably this wave. Hook onto the minion. Nice little hook. Nice little true shot. Oh. Bango gets caught out by the flaze. That's the ping back for the chain spot. The tower low, but is standing. So one more wave necessary. The bot lane inhibitor has respawned as well. So they don't have to worry about supers. They could just continue to hold. Vango poking with the sigil of malices as he distorts forward and pings back to safety time after time. The tower will go down. The hook Jeffy. back onto Jeffe, but Jeffe goes in for the stopwatch. They can just pull oh. him back in though as they find themselves a kill onto Aragon. This That's is going to be it for London. The Nexus will be going down any moment now as Jeffe's found himself caught out. The silence is there as Vango getting chased out by Beely. Jopa has to do so Wait. much work here, but the kick is absolutely huge. It's a free versus free. Gad is low HP, but he jumps in into Beely's face. Another hook dead. Next. And No Name still has that GA. Joppa still has that GA. He's trying to find the additional damage into the carriage, but the stopwatches are so, so big. Ray coming in the nexus is bare and this will be it london will take their first uklc title and london the organization that has always had the expectations the bars set so high denied 
in the spring season against Resolve, but here today against Eminem, they were the superior team. They are the superior team and they will take the title. Absolutely stellar gameplay from them in game three and game four. And quite frankly, Eminem, I think after game three, yes, looked threatening in this game, but they still lacked that same level of venom for me. And with that in mind, London just kind of punished every single time that Eminem overstepped with their lead in this game. This felt like one of those regular season games for Eminem where they got a lead, overstepped, 